بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شہلی صدری و سرلی امری و حلل اغدتم اللہ سانیف کہو کولی Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. This is Shairoz Abdullah and uh, today we are going to discuss uh, damping. Uh, today's topic is damping, right? And today's lecture is lecture number 5. Okay, uh, let me recall the previous uh, uh, topic that we have done yesterday. It was related to simple pendulum where we have discussed that we were having a metallic sphere and it was oscillating about its mean position and two extreme positions a and a dash and continuously it was oscillating we have we we know that it works on the principle of simple harmonic motion as that it obeys the principle of a directly proportional to minus x okay and uh, then if you remember we we have done with a uh, certain derivations of it and uh, we have uh, studied some of the characteristics as well like time period frequency amplitude displacement and all these things we have already done okay now today we are going to discuss what is damping that is the new topic let's discuss in our daily life you must have seen a swinging pendulum stops after some time you must have seen that a kid is sitting on the swing and uh, the swing is oscillating after some time we see that the swing stops okay uh, then you must have seen that a moving pendulum uh, when it is moving so after some time it stops okay the question arises that what is the basic reason yeah what is the basic physics behind that the basic physics behind that is damping you know damping is that process that effect which decreases the amplitude of vibration which decreases the amplitude of vibration or in other words we can also say that any effect that tends to reduce the amplitude of vibration is known as damping we can say that the effect which decreases the amplitude of vibration is known as damping okay we will discuss two of the examples over here the first is a swing and then we have a moving pendulum look we were having a pendulum over here the pendulum was oscillating uh, between like this is center position this is a and on the other side we have a dash so it's moving uh, over there after look initially the pendulum was moving till here in the second case the pendulum is moving till here in the third case the pendulum is moving till here and finally it stops finally it stops in the first case this was the amplitude in the second case this was the amplitude in the third case this was the amplitude and the final it stopped means what we have observed over here we have observed that the amplitude of vibration actually started decreasing with the passage of time the process in which amplitude of oscillation decreases with the passage of time this is what we call damping similarly if we plot the graph of it so look initially the amplitude of vibration was quite higher look till here like x1 and in the second case the amplitude reduced to x2 look in the third case the amplitude further reduced to x3 and finally it stopped finally it stopped over here so we can say that uh, uh, that process, that effect, that phenomena in which amplitude of oscillation decreases with the passage of time is known as damping. Now, uh, what may be the probable cause of damping? Causes of damping. Like, what are the things, like, what are the things uh, due to which the body stops there are so many factors the first is gravity number second uh, uh, resistance of air molecules during the motion of the body okay uh, the first we have gravity the first we have gravity factor second we have resistance of air molecules during motion of the object right 
then there come frictions as well collision of air molecules all these things can come okay so there are so many factors due to which the body stops finally so what we have discussed we have discussed damping damping is that phenomena that process in which amplitude of oscillation decreases with the passage of time so we call it damping thank you so much this was today's topic hope you understand thanks for watching jazakallah allah hafiz